rebuild and come back strong. Right now at six, church fire. The parish community at St. Patrick Church is moving forward despite a setback. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. I brought you the first pictures of that fire last night live as breaking news at six o'clock. Today, we're getting a closer look at the damage. The investigation into a cause continues and engineers are working to make sure the building is stable. First News reporter Nadine Grimley talked to the parish community about the healing process and those who helped save an important part of the church. In a damaged sanctuary, a statue of St. Patrick still stands tall, a symbol of hope following a devastating fire inside St. Patrick's Church. It's a big loss for us right now. The fire started at around 545 Monday night. There's a lot of smoke pouring out the back side of the church. Crews from multiple fire departments in the surrounding area all responded. Damage estimates are in the millions of dollars. Eagle Joint Fire District Chief Ron Stanish says investigators with the state fire marshal's office haven't determined a cause, but believe it started in a conference room next to a kitchen. For parishioners, seeing their beloved parish damaged is emotional. It's a sad day, but I guess we have to have hope for our future here. You know, it's uh, hard to accept at the beginning, but we have, uh, our faith is built around uh, Christ, not the building. The church is the center of their life for young and old here. And our parish community is very active and very close to their faith and all the ministries that we have in so many different ways. And they were really shaken up and, and it, it just, that's what hurt. Father Mike Swires was here last night and he says there's one image that stands out vividly in his mind and that's firefighters rescuing the tabernacle from the blaze. They took, put a ladder down and picked up the tabernacle and crawled across uh, with the tabernacle, which is very, very heavy, and the Holy Eucharist, and also saved some of the statues. So our parish is indebted to the Hubbard Fire Department for that. For the time being, masses will be held at the parish center, right next to the church. In Hubbard, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.